Hello and welcome back, Sleepy What's It here and I have another Miniatures Monday video for you. In today's video we're going to be revisiting a part of the Improving WizKids mini video that I did previously. There have been some suggestions related to that video about using a product called Super Clean instead of Simple Green for doing the stripping of the models. So in this video we're going to do a comparison between those two products for stripping models. And I'm also going to uh, test out the cleaner that I use for my airbrush. Though I'm not expecting much from that since I think it's a reducer, not a true cleaner stripper detergent product. So the difference between the two products that we are using, we have Simple Green, which is what I've previously used, which is available in Canada in most hardware stores. It's relatively inexpensive. I think it's like 15 bucks for this large jug of it. It's marketed as an all-purpose cleaner, uh, eco-friendly, non-toxic, non-dangerous to you. It works relatively well for minis. I find with some miniatures that it doesn't, you have some issues uh, getting all the paint off, but overall it softens up the paint, doesn't damage miniatures, it works perfectly fine for me. The other product that was suggested is called Super Clean, which is marketed in Canada as a basically an engineer part degreaser, so it's more in the automotive cleaning section, but most hardware stores uh, carry it here. The major difference with this is that it is explicitly warned as uh, being caustic. Uh, and it's actually quite basic as a as a chemical, so it's a little bit more dangerous to work with than Simple Green. It also does have the explicit warnings that don't mix with uh, ammonia or bleach cleaners, so that's presumably in the category of you will create chlorine gas if you do that and make yourself very unhappy and or dead. Yeah, you need to be a little bit more uh, safe with it, which is why you'll see I'm wearing gloves in these videos. So the process that I actually went through to kind of compare these is I'm using these uh, fungus guys, uh, myconode uh, miniatures from WizKids. Now, I have a whole bunch of them here. What we're going to be doing is soaking two of them in each of the different products for about 24 hours. Uh, we're going to take out one of the miniatures and I'm just going to do a brush cleaning with it. A, a nice thorough one using a clean brush to strip some paint off and then working it with the used toothbrush. And then the other one that will come out will be uh, cleaned a little bit with the brush, but what's going to be doing is going into my ultrasonic cleaner and doing a few passes through there where we put it in uh, for a while, take it out, brush it off a bit, and run it to see how cl absolutely clean we can get it. This is also going to be a little bit of a test to see if any of these products just straight up kill my cheap $40 ultrasonic cleaner. Instead of making you sit through a whole bunch of ugly montages of me um, uh, scraping paint off and running ultrasonic cleaners and such to pad out the video, I'm just going to jump into here straight to the results. So that we have a baseline of comparison for the various uh, different uh, chemicals that we're going to be trying out here. Here's the uncleaned prime minis basically as they come out of the package. On the left hand side we have the uh, slightly larger mechanoid that has their hands pointing a little bit towards the ground. This is the miniature that I'm going to be c uh, continuously using for just brushing and for cleaning. And then on the right hand side here we have the one that's a little bit smaller but has its hands facing upwards. That will be the one that goes into ultrasonic cleaner. I chose these models because they have a lot of little thin details, but they also have some flat surfaces like the top of the head, so we get to compare a variety of different things. I had also used spiders for testing this, but they weren't that interesting because they all got stripped really easily because they weren't super detailed. So the first results that we're going to be looking at are those that came from using their brush cleaner. As you can see here, there's just a lot of paint that's still left on, so even using a brush and scrubbing, I wasn't able to get most of it off, and I definitely couldn't get into the lower recesses. As you can see on the head, there's still a ton of paint on the top. Overall, this probably wasn't any better than just soaking it in soapy water, and noticeably more expensive, because airbrush cleaner is not cheap. So I'm not surprised by this, but I just kind of want for uh, completeness sake to make sure I didn't discover that, oh, airbrush cleaner was an awesome thing to be using. So I would stay away from it. Now we're going to show the results of my old standby uh, simple green here. As you can see, I was able to remove all of the paint uh, by brushing. That required about five or so minutes of brushing after having let it soak, which is honestly a little bit better than I normally get with simple green. And then on the right, you can see using simple green plus the, the ultrasonic cleaner, we were able to get in all the details, cleaned out, took a little bit less time. Um, there's a few little spots that I yeah, probably could have done a little bit more of, but basically between the two, left-hand one with the brushing required like five to ten minutes of hard brushing by me. The one on the right only required a couple minutes because I was throwing it in the ultrasonic cleaner. 
And finally we have the product that we were actively trying to test out in this video. This is the super clean uh, tests. So as you can see here, the actual quality of cleaning is quite comparable to Simple Green, especially with brushing, you're just able to get it all off. Um, with the you know, ultrasonic cleaner, I maybe left a little bit of extra bits on, but I, it could be easily taken off with brushing. The major difference between this and the Simple Green was that the Simple Green took five to 10 minutes of brushing uh, to get all the details cleared out, whereas the Super Clean took like a minute, maybe two at most. The paint was basically falling off when I started uh, brushing. For me, Super Clean was the clear winner. It was able to clean just as well as uh, Simple Green, which is what I previously used, but it was able to do it much faster, and I have a little bit more confidence that it would uh, deal with some of the tougher situations I've encountered. I've had a few models that I've had a really hard time with Simple Green getting it all off that I'm going to run through Super Clean. That, of course, coming all with a caveat that it is distinctively harder to work with because of being a bit caustic. So I can understand why someone may not choose to use it because of safety concerns or possibilities of damaging plastic. I only soak this for 24 hours and I don't appear to have had any damage to the plastic. With Simple Green, I know I can let things soak repeatedly for like a week without damaging it. I haven't tested how far I can push Super Clean before it damages anything. So that's something to be aware of if you're looking with any of these kind of types of stripping products i recommend testing them with the type of plastic you're working with on something that you don't mind risking because you never know there might be a subtle difference between one manufacturer's plastic that will cause a reaction or something like that so always test before you do something you care deeply about also one of the chemicals in super clean sodium hydroxide which is just basically lye um, by a different name, is known for being corrosive uh, to some types of metal. Aluminum, I'm pretty sure it can be corrosive to. I'm not sure about some of the white metals. So I would definitely be more cautious about using it uh, to strip metal miniatures, though there's a variety of products that are metal safe that are better for stripping to begin with, though I'll probably just stick with using Simple Green. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. I release videos about miniatures weekly, sometimes on Monday. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.